Okay folks, propeller theory. So what I've got here is a propeller from uh, the 1930s, 1940s era. This particular particular propeller manufactured in 1946. So it's a two blade propeller, roughly seven foot diameter or so. So you get an idea of how large this propeller is. Anyway, the rotation is in this sense that I'm rotating it in. That sense, okay, rotates that way. Um, the propeller blades convert power supplied by the engine to useful thrust power. So the power makes the propeller rotate and the thrust the propeller blades convert that power into useful thrust power in the sense that I'm indicating. So the thrust is in that direction. So the propeller blades convert the input shaft power into useful thrust power. Uh, this is a two blade propeller obviously. Um, Propeller blades are designed to generate thrust efficiently, as efficiently as possible. Um, the propeller blade sections, you can't really see the details of the blade sections just by looking at the propeller, uh, but if I was to cut a slice across this, you would see an aerofoil section much like a wing. Um, so, propeller generates thrust, it's an aerodynamic force. Um, so, the blades have got leading edges, uh, blade, sorry, the blade's got a leading edge and a trailing edge, the blade plan form is the variation of cord length along the blade from root to tip. Um, the other major feature of the propeller design is the twist distribution. If I rotate this propeller about the blade axis, you can see the twist uh, along the blade. The blade has got the leading edge and the trailing edge, and there's propeller blade rotation in that sense, so the, the blade speed varies from a low value at the blade root to a large value at the blade tip. There's an aerodynamic velocity into the propeller disc, so the aerodynamic conditions at the blade leading edge vary from the root towards the tip, and the twist distribution along the blade gives a good aerodynamic performance um, for the blade section from the root to the tip. Okay, so this course is about propeller theory. Um, we will understand basic propeller performance, and we will develop a methodology uh, for an introduction to propeller design. Okay, 